Good Thursday morning, and it's Thursday morning, so it must be time for a science update. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. And this science update starts with an email message from my dear friend, the Kiwi Kevin Hester, who on October 1st sent me an email message, and it included this information. Quote, it's actually quite concerning, end quote, said Edward Schweiderman, a planetary scientist at the University of California at Riverside, who was not included in the new study. For some time, many scientists had hoped that a warmer Earth might lead to more clouds and higher albedo, which would then help to moderate warming and balance the climate system, he said. Quote, but this shows the opposite is true, end quote. So that's inconvenient. And I wrote back to Kevin and told him, thanks, I hadn't seen this before. And then I got to thinking about it because something rang familiar even though I hadn't seen this particular study. So I went back to my climate change summary and found all kinds of interesting information, which I'll get to shortly. First though, the link Kevin sent to me went to AGU reports. AGU is the American Geophysical Union, source of many recent papers of late that deal with climate change. This particular article intended for the popular press is called Earth is Dimming Due to Climate Change. The subhead, warming oceans cause fewer bright clouds to reflect sunlight into space, admitting even more energy into Earth's climate system. Now this is not the same thing as global dimming or the aerosol masking effect. This is something that is different. The Earth shine that reflects from Earth and allows us to see the moon, for example, even when it's a new moon. That's what we're talking about here, is the Earth's shine, not aerosol masking, per se. The story in the AGU report goes, warming ocean waters have caused a drop in the brightness of the Earth, according to a new study. That's the, that's the lead. Researchers used decades of measurements of Earth's shine the light reflected from Earth that illuminates the surface of the moon, as well as satellite measurements to find that there had been a significant drop in Earth's reflectance or albedo over the past two decades. So this is notable because, as I mentioned several times in this space, the warming of the planet is unprecedented over the course of the last two decades. So this points to one potential cause from among many that the planet is warming, apparently in a runaway fashion. The AGU report leads to a paper in the Geophysical Union letters, which the American Geophysical Union publishes. This paper is from August 29th, 2021. It's authored by P.R. Good and six other colleagues. The abstract tells the full story, and really the story is told in the quote from the popular article at, at, at the AGU report. The lead of the abstract is, the reflectance of the Earth is a fundamental climate parameter that we measured from Big Bear Solar Observatory between 1998 and 2017 by observing the Earth's shine using modern photometric techniques to precisely determine daily, monthly, seasonal, yearly, and decadal changes in terrestrial al albedo from Earth shine. So that's the story here. The bottom line in the plain language summary goes like this. The recent drop in albedo is attributed to a warming of the Eastern Pacific which is measured to reduce low-lying cloud cover and therefore the albedo. So the explanation is given right there. As I indicated, I got to thinking about this. Maybe I have seen something like this before. So sure enough, I went back to my climate change summary, formerly climate change summary and update, that I stopped updating more than five years ago. So I recently changed the name. And there's two papers. One in the January 1st, 2014 issue of Nature, which is a leading scientific journal. The paper is titled, Spread in Model Climate Sensitivity Traced to Atmospheric Convective Mixing. And it's written by Stephen Sherwood and two other authors. And it points to this same 
increase or rather decrease in earth shine and attributing it to climate change. That's from January 2014. Then I found another paper published July 11th, 2016, also in Nature, titled Evidence for Climate Change in the Satellite Cloud Record. That's by Joel Norris and five other scholars. And bear in mind, this isn't just these two papers. This isn't just three authors of one paper and six authors of another. So there's nine people who are pointing out this reduced dimming as a result of earth shine. There's also, in addition to the nine scholars, an additional half a dozen reviewers and the editors of the papers, of course. All of them are paid, by the way, and they haven't noticed in this newest paper that there are at least two other pa papers in Nature, which is a leading scientific journal, to find that the same thing had been reported rep before. The new paper does not reference either of the three papers, I've of the two papers that I already mentioned here. And so it's not just the nine scholars writing the papers, it's an additional half a dozen editors and reviewers who didn't notice either. They didn't bother to look at the literature before the paper was published. It's interesting that unpaid Kevin Hester finds them and unpaid Guy McPherson finds them. It seems to me that these climate scientists better start working harder at their jobs or I'm going to call them out on not finding the previous papers. <laughs> Thanks for staying tuned. We'll try to crank out another one of these science updates next week.